My name is Sam Kumar Sami. I'm the Director of Product Marketing at Mobileye for UEM or Unified Endpoint Management. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how by using the Mobileye Cloud Admin Console, it is very easy to do user enrollment, as well as demonstrate the full device lifecycle management across any device, be it iOS, Android, Mac OS, or Windows 10. So let's get started. So if you go to the Users tab here, you can add a number of users by using the tab here. You can add either multiple users or single users. You go in here, enter the relevant information. You can add the user to an existing group of users or create a new user group. So in this example, I've already added a user called Peter Smith. So if you click here, you can see the different actions you can take on this particular user delete, for example, assign to a group, remove from a group, or even append certain roles for Peter Smith. Now, if you click on Peter Smith, you see an overview. He has been assigned a device, which is an iOS 13. Some of the available apps for him to use are also listed here, as well as the roles that have been assigned based on that previous tab that I showed you. There are also certain attributes that you can add, for example, his phone number and so on. So that is the power of using user enrollment. You can also go to user groups. As you can see here, there are user groups that have been created. And you can add a user group, either dynamically, which is the most common method. And then you can list the users that should be included in this group as well. You can also take actions on particular groups. For example, if you select this particular group, you can take actions to which is like delete user group, uh, assign roles, assign users, and so on. Now, from a user setting perspective, when you do device registration, there is these different groups that have been created. For example, IDP settings and so on. And then you have certain restrictions on pin only and so on. You can go and edit those restrictions as you see fit. As you can see, there are very granular level of details in terms of device settings. You can limit based on versions. You can also look here at the registration type and change the pin only, for example, into password and pin as well. The last bit on the user tab is user branding, where when a user logs in, he gets to see some either custom or standard uh, screenshots, if you will. So you, you can change the logo that the user sees anytime that you need. Now moving on toward devices, for example, you can see the list here, Peter has been assigned the iOS devices. You can select the user, look at the different actions you take, and this is where the full device lifecycle management comes into play, where you can assign a user to this device, which has already been assigned, by the way. Uh, you can lock, unlock, you can enable, disable Bluetooth. Uh, you can retire the device, should this Peter Smith be leaving the company, for example, or even wipe the device completely. Again, based on different rules. You can enter into kiosk mode uh, as well. And as you can see, there are several options available in terms of full device lifecycle management. The other thing you can do is go into configurations and actually set up the configuration for the devices. So you can add certain configuration. This is where you would set up the Wi-Fi, passcode, uh, uh, VPN configurations that can be automated. So as, as soon as the user logs in, they're going to be able to be up and running pretty quickly. And this is where the user productivity come into play. You can choose the different types of uh, VPNs, for example. That's one example. You can also go to policies and set different policies for the devices. So if it's a compromised devices, what do you do? Do you just watch? Do you monitor? Do you block and so on? So there are various templates that are available already. So again, going back to the devices, if you look at Peter Smith, you click on Peter Smith, it tells you the different configurations that I just talked about, the installed apps and so on, that is possible for each of the device and device groups. The last part is the admin part. And you can see, for example, you can set the application lists. You can create a new list. So we have created already blacklist, whitelist of applications. You can go create a new list as well. 
and decide, hey, for that particular device, for example, uh, you can whitelist and blacklist the, the different applications and apply those to the particular device. And that's from a high level what uh, user enrollment and full device lifecycle management is all about. To learn more about the product, please go to www.mobileion.com and where you can go and download a free 30-day trial version of UEM. Thank you for watching.